Hey there, this is Philip uh, with a, an update on LEGO test machine number two. Okay, uh, this is the test, that, the, the first long-term test uh, that I'm doing. Uh, everything else before that was only, uh, you know, development tests for the machine. This one is uh, really, uh, basically I'm counting everything and uh, I'm following this test since the beginning. And at this point we're, if I'm looking at the early application here, I'm at... Uh, uh, 27,675 and uh, still going so uh, it's uh, it's pretty strong stuff uh, but actually what happened uh, uh, today I had to change the uh, the motor the top motor here uh, it started grinding a couple of days ago and um, so I had to uh, to remove it because it was failing now and uh, another modification that I did is the machine started stopping for no apparent reason. And uh, what happened is that uh, there's a, it comes a time after thousands of iteration where the bottom Lego, if it's at the right angle, is gonna just fall. But it's, it's, if you put it back together, it's still gonna catch. So what I'm doing now is I'm waiting for it to fall uh, at least five times in a row before saying that it's a, uh, it's dead dead you know and that uh, that's gonna also help me a lot with my statistics instead of just falling randomly at some point and hopefully I'm gonna have a nice little uh, cluster of data you know I we can one can only hope you know so um, so I'm gonna let it go and hopefully it's gonna beat the number from the last time and and uh, and then all the other tests are gonna uh, uh, are gonna be around that number and uh, we'll see we'll see what happened and I'll keep you guys informed and uh, and I'm gonna go upstairs now and uh, dismantle the other motor to see uh, what kind of gunk is inside now that it's all broken Just dismantled the motor and I think I found my problem so the uh, when I was turning the motor it would grind and uh, as I, I got it out I saw that there was one thing that was grinding uh, against this here basically this is the shaft the pin that comes out so if I put it in and right next to it there was that X that other pin that goes through a couple of gears and uh, this one was grinding against the teeth Basically, I'm gonna to try to show it to you guys. So it was grinding, this little round part was grinding against this. So it's supposed to go there, but there's, an, there's a, an angle at which it's supposed to be because there's a little flat part. So you, I, I'm gonna put a picture, but basically, I don't know if you could zoom in, can you come on, focus camera? No, it can't. But anyway, so there's a little flat part, very tiny flat part. And here at the bottom of this cap here, there is a, uh, a ever slightly uh, little indentation here and it fits this shape so if it's right there and uh, all the screws are uh, screwed in correctly it's not going to turn and the flat part is going to enable this gear to turn if it turns even a little bit then it's not the flat part that's there and it's touching the gear and it's going to start grinding and uh, the problem is that because I ran it a lot, uh, a whole bunch, those screws, the screws that are here holding the, the gear assembly, uh, they got loose and um, just a little bit and then this thing started turning and that's what uh, probably, I don't know if it's ruined, but I'm going to try to put it back together. Uh, the other motors now that are on the machine, uh, I put some Loctite uh, uh, glue you know on the on those screws so that uh, this assembly does not come loose and um, that's probably what killed this motor hopefully it's not dead and I'll uh, put it back together see what happened so that's uh, that was the problem that I had with this motor hopefully I won't make too many mistakes like that I had the uh, six motors total so <laughs> fingers crossed bye oh.